in this video I am going to talk about confidence and self-esteem, um, what I have been going through, uh, how I got to the place where I am now and maybe give you some advice if you are in a bad position, if you have very low self-esteem and if you are struggling with that. Uh, maybe I can give you some advice because I've been going through that myself for years in my early teens and so I have a lot of experience with it. <laughs> uh, I'm not in any way a professional in, you know, a psychologist or anything like that. But because I've been going through it myself, I thought maybe I have a lot of helpful tips and if I can help one person, then that's better than nothing. I started getting low self-esteem when I was 12 years old and that is so young. I was just a child and I was... I hated myself for who I was. I hated my personality, I hated my looks, I hated my legs and my nose and I always found new things that I hated about myself when there was nothing wrong with me and I was still, I was still a child and I was still kind of careless. But at the same time, I had those inner thoughts that there were, they were always there. Always telling me how much I sucked, how much, how ugly I was. When I was 12, um, almost 13, I started in middle school. And the first day in middle school, the teachers asked us to write a letter to ourselves that we would read in the future. And I did. And I couldn't remember what I had written and I was really excited about reading it again. I was 16 and yeah, I was graduating. I opened the letter three years later and I was shocked because what I saw was a girl that had so many issues, so low self-esteem uh, and I had written that I hated myself, I thought I was ugly uh, I wanted to become prettier, I wanted to look like Jessica Alba um, and I put a picture of myself in the letter as well where it said, do you understand me now why I want to become pretty and I, I, was, I was so shocked, like how could I think those things about myself? I was 12, that's... <laughs> I was a child, I remember being so sad when I read the letter because I didn't expect that a lot had changed. So yeah, I was still having low self-esteem and not so good confidence still. Um, but a lot had changed. I was older, I had new experiences and I don't know, I just changed a bit. But I still had those problems just more hidden away. Uh, but it wasn't as bad as when I was 12, 13, 14. Um, then I started in high school. I moved away from my hometown, it's an island. <laughs> but I moved away to a new place, I met new friends and I got a boyfriend. And after that, everything just went up. Um, and I think the main reason for that was I found people who loved me for who I was. And of course, I've always had family that loved me, but I haven't had as many friends before. So the fact that people came over to me, talked to me, wanted to get to know me, um, getting a boyfriend, having someone who was in love with me, I think that had a lot to say. Uh, so I automatically just felt a lot more confident and a lot more happy about myself because I knew that people like me for who I am. So all those flaws, they didn't really matter, nobody else saw them and even if they saw them, it wouldn't matter. I was trying to change my thought process. Uh, I was telling myself every day that I'm good enough, I'm unique, I'm here for a reason like everybody else. Uh, and there is more to this world than beauty and looks and perfection. Uh, no one can be perfect and even if you think someone looks perfect, they still have issues. Everybody, most people have issues or have had issues. <laughs> so I just think it's so sad that so many people constantly look for perfection and try to find it when in reality you won't. You won't find perfection. 
um, and everyone will always have a flaw or two. Like, <laughs> that's just how it is. You are yourself, you are unique. You are born the way you are born for a reason. Um, and I also try to think that I'm a part of my mom and my dad. I have my dad's nose, well, I think so. I have my mom's eyes and just, I see, my, I see my parents in me and that makes me proud. It makes me proud to see my parents in me because everyone can see that I am their child. And I like that and I think it's good. And even if I have flaws, but where, it doesn't matter if I was perfect, where would it get me? What, what would I do with it? That's what I'm thinking. Would I be a better person by be by looking perfect? Would I uh, would I achieve something big in this life? Because I don't think so. I think everyone can achieve things in, in their lives. I think everybody can be a good person without looking perfect. To me, my body is just a shell. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die one day. I don't know when it is, but I'm gonna die one day. That's for sure. And I want to enjoy my life on this planet while I'm alive. Life is so short. Some people say it's long, some people say it's short, but I think it's short. I am almost 21 years old this year, but I still feel like life has just flied away. 20 years has just flied away. And that's how fast it went. And I, I'm just thinking, do I really want to spend more years on this planet feeling bad for myself, constantly worry about what other people think of me, um, just stuff like that? Do I really want my life to be like that? No, I do not want my life to be that sad and miserable. So I just change my thought process and how you do that, it's so different from person to person. It's you are unique and you need to find your way but i would recommend just listening to these words just accept yourself you only have one life that you know of why would you want to spend all of these years being sad and depressed it doesn't give any sense and it's not going to be a good life so just try thinking that try Pushing that in your head, saying that you are unique, you are here for a reason, uh, you only have one life, try to enjoy it, um, and just love yourself. And I haven't even seen you, but I know you are beautiful. I just have a lot of thoughts, and I don't even know if I got all of my thoughts out, but at least I gave it a shot. <laughs> and if you thought this was boring or pointless, then fine. It was just a ton of thoughts that I had on my mind um, and I really hope that you, if you have these struggles, try to change your, your way of thinking and telling yourself these things every day. So I hope you got something out of this video, if not, it's, it's okay, it's fine, um, yeah, and I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are in the world and remember you are beautiful inside and out.